this video we're going to be writing exponential functions given something called a growth factor. So the three types of problems we're going to work by the end of this video are just some word problems where you're going to have to be writing exponential functions to match the word problem. Let's go ahead and introduce what an introduction or what an exponential function is. An exponential function is a function that has the form y equals a and a is just going to be some number. times b, b is going to be some number, to the x power. And what I'd like you to notice is that x is an exponent. That's going to be important. As a matter of fact, that's where the name exponential comes from. So since we have x, a variable x, as an exponent, it's going to be an exponential function. a is going to be our starting amount, and b is going to be our growth factor. So taking a look at our first example, our exponential functions, y equals a times b to the x. a is the starting amount, b is the growth factor and we've got a situation. So conservationists are reintroducing rabbits to some upland prairies. They release 24 rabbits in a particular field and they expect the rabbit population to double every year. If PT is the expected amount of population of rabbits after t years, which function below can best model the situation? So we have a word problem. The best thing to do is always to read the word problem first. We've read it. Now let's go back through and see if we can't find some important information. And again, since you know the video is about exponential functions, we know we're going to be looking for a starting amount and a growth factor. So they're reintroducing rabbits, okay. They release 24 rabbits in a particular field, and they expect the rabbit population to double every year. So I'm going to guess since they started off with 24 rabbits in a particular field, it doesn't say that that was the starting amount or initial amount, but we kind of have to infer that from the situation. So I'm going to say that this is A our starting amount. So A is 24. And they expect the rabbit population to double every year. The word growth factor means how much it's growing by, and doubling is a form of growth. It's doubling every single year. So what number would represent double? Let me think. So B is a growth factor, doubling, so that means B is equal to 2, because doubling means 2 times the amount every year. So I have A and B. I should be able to write the function Y is equal to A, A comes first, 24, times B. We use parentheses to put around the B. So parentheses B is 2 to the x. So we're looking for an answer that matches 24 times 2 to the x. Well, 24 times t to the second. Looks like all these are t's instead of x's. That's okay. We can change the x to t. And it also looks like they're using p of t in place of y. Well, that's okay. We can just call y p of t. So my answer should be p of t equals 24 times 2 to the t. Looking through the answer choices, 24 times 2 to the exponent of t. 2 times 24t. Oh, that is so close, but not quite it. That doesn't have an exponent. That exponent is 2, not t. Looks like d has to be the correct answer choice. Let's look at our second example. Go ahead and read it, pause the video, and press play when you're ready to go over it together. So again, since this problem's inside of our exponential functions video, we know we're going to be using a function like this, and we know we're going to be looking for a starting amount and a growth factor. So a toy is made up of cylindrical rings stacked on a base, as shown in the diagram. The diameter of ring 1 is 87% of the diameter of ring base, okay, of the base. For ring 2 through ring 7, the diameter of each is 87% of the diameter of the ring directly below it. The diameter of the base is 5 inches, and then it says which function can we use from 1 to 7. Huh. This is a little bit weird. Doesn't look at all like the previous problem. Well, maybe we can find a starting amount. It says the diameter of ring 1, that kind of sounds like the starting amount, is 87% of the diameter of the base. Oh, that's a bit tricky. Ring 1 isn't the start. The base is the lowest amount. If we look at the picture, you notice that base is the lowest amount. That's probably our starting amount. So let's see if we can find the base anywhere. Since the base is 5 inches, so I'm going to assume A is equal to 5. 
Now it says that the diameter of ring 1 is 87% of the base. For rings 2 through 7, the diameter of the ring is 87% of. 87% of, the word of means times, that's our growth factor. That's going to be our B value. So our A is 5, our B is going to be 87%. So A should be the first number. Let's see any answer choices that have 5 as a first number. Looks like B doesn't have 5 as a first number and C doesn't have 5 as a first number. Looks like we're left between A and D. A says 5 times 0.87 to the R and D says 5 times R minus 0.87. Well we're not subtracting 87% every time. It says it's 80% of. So it couldn't be D plus D doesn't have an exponent. The exponent was missing. So we knew it couldn't be D for two different reasons. Looks like A is our correct answer choice, and indeed it is. They're using D of R in place of Y, and R in place of X with our original function. Let's look at our last example. A radioactive element loses mass as it decays. A 10 milligram sample has two thirds of its previous mass every year. Which function below represents the mass m of the element after t years? So looking for a starting amount, a 10 milligram sample, that's probably our starting amount. And it has two thirds of, that key word right there, the word of means like repeat multiplication of, so that's got to be our, our growth factor, two thirds of. So we're looking for an answer choice that has 10 as the first number and 2 thirds as our B. 10 is the first number, 10 is the first number, 2 thirds doesn't match, 24 doesn't match. So it's either A or B. And notice we have a variable as an exponent in B, so B must be the correct answer choice. And it is, because we're starting off with 10 milligrams and we're having 2 thirds of the amount every year. So 2 thirds is our growth factor to the T power.